Hey girls, Jamie here. So for the last couple of weeks, I've been doing back to school DIYs. This week, however, instead of sending you off to class with some awesome supplies, I'm going to show you some really unique upcycled fashion. Get ready to turn any shirt from drab to fab as I show you how to make your own collared necklace. Let's do it, girl. Okay, so for your collar necklace, you're going to need any firm but flexible base fabric, from foam to felt to lace to cotton. The rest of your materials depends on what type of collar you want to make. If you're going with a solid color like black, you could nab a bunch of sequins or jewels or beads or glitter in order to decorate the top. Or if you had a really fun pattern of fabric, then you could simply grab an embellishment or two like a button or a brooch. No matter what style you choose, you're also going to need string, any kind, scissors and a ruler, cardstock and a writing utensil, a jump ring, lobster clasp and chain, and a strong glue or needle and thread. All right, it's time to make a baller collar. Baller collar, baller collar, you know, I mean it rhymes, kinda. Step one. The first step is to make a template for your collar by measuring the circumference of your neck. Now there are two different ways to do this. One, wrap a piece of string comfortably around your neck, or two, wrap a piece of string around the neckline of any t-shirt or tank top you want to add your collar to. No matter which method you choose, form that same string circle onto your sheet of cardstock and then loosely trace your string with your writing utensil. When finished, remove the string and lightly draw a straight line down the middle of your circle. Now's the time to create your collar pattern. The best method is to create a wide, drooping C that stretches from the top middle of your circle to the bottom middle, ultimately forming a crescent shape. Take your time here to really sketch out the look that you want because this will be your collar's final shape. The good news is you only have to trace out half of your collar. When finished, fold your cardstock in half down that original vertical line you drew. That way, when you cut out your design with your scissors, you'll be cutting out a perfectly symmetrical collar. Since you are so good at following along, I may as well tell you that there are several different different collar templates online that you could just print out easy peasy instead. However, making one from scratch is the only way to go if you want to ensure the best fit for your neckline and to feel like this project is 100% your own. That's right, Jamie's getting all self-sufficient up in here. <laughs> what? The next step is to create your fabric collar. Lay your cardstock template onto your fabric using a writing utensil to trace an outline if needed. Otherwise, go ahead and cut, cut away. When finished, you've got yourself a basic collar which should look something like this. Now this should go without saying, but since you're cutting this collar specifically for your neckline, it's not going to be able to go over your head. That's why step three is to create an attachment for the back of your collar, or what I'm going to call a back attachment. Using your scissors, carefully cut and divide your back collar. That's right, you're going to take this thing apart just to put it back together again. Crazy, right? But that way it's very easy to put on and to take off, just like a necklace. Now there are so many different ways to add a back attachment to your collar. The simplest way is to glue or sew two pieces of string to the underside of your collar. That way all you have to do is tie the two strands together into a bow. If you want it to be like me, then you can use a tack to pierce a hole into your fabric in order to insert a jump ring and chain. You can even follow the process that I showed you during my leather cuff bracelet tutorial with Sohinky from Smosh Games and attach some snappy snaps to connect your collar together. No matter which back attachment you choose, make sure to size your closure correctly so that your collar will still fit comfortably around your neck when you put it on. Once you're able to get on and off the collar with ease, all that's left to do is to decorate it. For a lace or pattern collar, you can simply attach a pretty button or brooch to the center. Now for my solid colored collar, I'm going to adhere a bunch of really sparkly gems that I have left over from my Bedazzled Heels DIY. Now this method might be the longest way of decorating your collar, but I think it has the biggest payoff. I'll show you right after this montage. And look how pretty it is when it's all finished. We have barely scratched the surface on how many amazing ways there are to do this fashionable addition to a t-shirt or tank top. You can choose any pattern, any color, and do it with any decoration. And you can do it all under an hour and for less than $10. Holla at the removable collar. <laughs> How did you make your collar necklace? Tweet me at Jamie Petito, Instagram me at Hey Jamie, or just tell me all about it in the comments below. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie, and you're on girl.com. If you want to be a collar follower, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Now, this method might be the longest way of decorating, but I'm guessing it's going to have the biggest payoff. We'll find out right after these messages. That's not what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> like, do a girl something and have commercials. And now, Twix.